Jake Epstein, and welcome to Degrassi Tells All. White Wedding is the episode that you're about to see. Yes, where Snake and Spike get married. This was intense for Emma. It was. Her mom was dealing with getting married, and her mom was dealing with another pregnancy, so it was pretty intense. It was intense. Let's give the episode a shot. So what was it like to work with a stripper? It was fantastic, actually. Um, no, the actress that played Fancy was great. So it wasn't a real stripper? No, it wasn't a real stripper. It was an actress. JT and Toby loved her, if I remember correctly. They just and you didn't? I was cool, man. I was so, like, professional on Lies. set. And, you know, I would visit her room after scenes and stuff, but, like, nothing unprofessional. And <laughs> she hasn't called me since. Boys. Fancy the stripper. Hey, welcome back to Degrassi Tells All. So do you remember the day that we were shooting on the beach for, like, the wedding reception? For the wedding, yeah, yeah, of course. Like... Most of uh, the exteriors at Degrassi are hard to shoot because it's always raining and there's always a, a problem outside. Mm -hmm. It was so it perfect. Was perfect that it was, day. We the shot it in the awesome. summer. Champagne. It was, it was ginger champagne, ale. Like, yeah. But we pretended we were all drunk, I think, or something. Mm -hmm. It was fun. <laughs> My character had no one to dance with. And then Sean shows up and he kind of saves the day. A little stellar ending there. <laughs> So when you think about it, your character and my character are like the ties to the classic Degrassi show. Yeah, it's true. We're pretty lucky. We get to work with the legends of Degrassi. We do. With Stefan Brogren, who played Snake, Snake yeah. and Amanda Steptoe, who played Spike, mm -hmm. and on your side of the family... Pat Mastroni, who yeah. played Joey, and we had an amazing relationship, and he's an amazing actor. Stacey Mystician, who plays Caitlin. Course, yeah. We were pretty lucky because we had uh, first-hand advice. We did. We have coaches. Mm-hmm. Now, in this episode, you have some pretty wild hair. What are you saying about my hair? I was saying it's wild, and it's big. There were two different wigs that I wore on that one. One was a wig with, like, curlers in it, so they didn't need to put my hair into curlers whenever they needed to show that. Yeah. And then the second wig was, like, this crazy perm wig, which is the one that I guess was featured throughout the whole episode. And, yeah, I kind of looked a little like Lenny Kravitz. I think that was sort of the ongoing joke. But you know what? Lenny's cool, so I was cool with it. Mm, not like Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Let's watch. So how do you cry when you're filming the crime scene? I guess I just try and relate to the character, or if I can't relate directly, I find something sort of in my own life that would be similar to what my character's going through, and I just... Focus so they're, they're real tears? They're not like... Yeah. How about you? They're real, baby. <laughs> no, it's like kind of the same thing. Yeah, when you're into the scene, you know, it's like you get so... You have no choice. Into it, yeah, you have no choice. Stick around, we'll be right back. Welcome back to Degrassi Tells All. We have a special guest for you, the one and only <laughs> Danny Clark, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> How you guys doing? Pretty good, man. What are we watching? White Wedding? White Wedding. Yeah. You were in that. Was that the first time we uh, kissed on screen? Oh. Is that was it? I think it might have been. Oh, really? Eh? I think it was. All right. Well, hopefully the uh, <laughs> audience will enjoy it as much as we did. Oh. As much <laughs> as I did, too. <laughs> oh, really? Let's sit down and enjoy it with the rest of the audience. I'll certainly enjoy it. I'm in good company. So how many times did we actually make up and break up on the show? I don't know. There was like once, once in season one. No, there was twice. You were with twice? Ashley at the last episode. Oh, the uh, the drug episode. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And then, and I, then that season, pushed you. And then yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The ravine thing. I was oh, like, eh, clean didn't the ravine. Didn't want to clean the ravine. Who wants to clean the ravine anyways? I mean, Shut I'm up. Saying, whatever. And then I was with season, Ellie in season four. We weren't even together. Were we? We were emotionally right, involved. This is like, emotionally involved. This is way too confusing. What does that mean? Let's take a break. So I heard a rumor that. You had a crush on someone on set that was related to Sean. Is that Maybe true? Maybe I did. Yeah? Maybe you had a little crush on Tracker, who plays your brother. On Tracker? <laughs> Kristen Tracker. Holman Reed? You had a crush on Kristen Holman Reed? Yes! <laughs> I was 13. He was older. I thought he was really cute. We were playing Miss Pac-Man, and I think we really bonded. What does that mean? All right, enough of that. Listen, we gotta, we gotta, <laughs> All right, we'll, we're not talking about this anymore. Just we'll focus we'll on the back, episode. We'll be back. This is Degrassi Tells All, and you've just finished watching the episode White Wedding with Jake, Miriam, and I. Yeah. Oh, man, we were so young in that episode. That <laughs> yeah, was cute. We had lots of fun. <laughs> we no, had we so much fun. Looked a lot younger. I hope you guys are going to join me for season six. You never know. I mean, Vancouver isn't, it isn't that far away. No, Sega isn't that far away. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Vancouver is far away. Yeah, I was going to say, it's like a long way away. Yeah, you never know. I don't know. We'll just have to see. Hey! Hi! <laughs> you have to wait and find out. Show me some love. Ah. Uh, 
Uh, maybe. You never know. Listen, stick around for some more great Degrassi stuff. It was great seeing y'all. Take care. Thanks, guys.